chickadees. Guess what today is? I'll wait. It's my motherfucking birthday. Yes, chickadees. So I am taking myself on a cute little road trip and y'all are coming along with me and we are going to the beach. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> like, oh my God, like literally I'm so excited guys. So I'm still clocked in at work because I'm working from home. So we just gonna try to like get there before two o'clock or at two o'clock. And I'm gonna park up at a little Wegmans and finish my shift out because the uh, check-in time at the hotel is four, but I might be able to check in early. So we'll see, we'll see what happens, chickadees. We'll see what happens. But anyways, I'm so excited. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just kind of like going with the flow, going with the flow. All I know is I wanna watch the sunset and the sunrise. That's like the only two things that like I officially want to do. So now I'm on my way to go get gas. We're gonna fill up the beast and we're gonna hit the highway. Look at her ready. We are gonna go, we gonna go. Ew, yes. We driving y'all, we driving. Like, this is just so futuristic. I didn't even have to put my card in. I just used my phone. Like, crazy. I might only have a four-cylinder engine, but let me tell you, 36.4 miles per gallon? Yeah. Um, Y'all can keep your six and eight cylinders to yourselves. I'm gonna try to film when we get to the tunnel. We're almost there. It's like a mile or two away. Baby, we gotta stand still, but you know what that means? Time to check some emails. Time to check some emails because we are still what? On the clock. I'll catch you guys at the tunnel. I have to pee so bad, but like I'm literally like 30 minutes away. Ugh, what do I do? There it is. Wow, thanks truck. Perfect timing. The beach. And a lot of construction. And here's the tunnel. All right, so we're in front of a Nissan, so we'll probably die in this tunnel. <laughs> I'm no longer a part of the Nissan gang. I don't want to die with y'all. I'm in the Bowtie Club. Do not change lanes in the tunnel. Maintain the speed. Okay, so this is what it looks like, you guys. You drive up. You drive, drive, drive. And then, like, oh, my God, everyone just starts braking. But, yeah. Like, I don't know why they built this tunnel. So maybe like someone could do like a history class, but like my, I guess my guess would be like, because like the, the Navy, there's a big Navy base here. So maybe they built like an underwater tunnel so that the boats could just go like through this area without having to like have a bridge to constantly go up and down. I don't know, but like, as you can tell, we're going down and down. Like, you go down. Like, we're going down. Um, really scary stuff. There was an accident in this tunnel, I think, like, last year. I don't think it's ever flooded yet. But you're not supposed to change lanes, and you're supposed to maintain your speed, which obviously none of these people are doing. And you're supposed to turn your headlights on. But we're still going down. Like... Like, yeah, like I'm not even touching the gas pedal and my speed's staying the same. So that means we're going down. So we're still going down. Like my ears are starting to pop. Okay. And then, oh my God, you guys, can you see like how it's curving? All right. So now I think it's like, oh my God, I'm trying to like do too many things. Okay. So now I think this is like the straight part. Maybe it could have been like a see-through roof. That would have been cool. But yeah, 
like how did they build this you know what I'm saying like how do you build an underwater tunnel like how do you move all that water to, like I just think that's so fascinating like every time I go through this it's always so fascinating I'm getting the full thing for you guys so you guys get the full experience of the tunnel the tunnel and I have to pee they even have like signs outside of it that's like check gas because I guess like you're like if you run out of gas you're gonna cause like a huge huge traffic jam oh oh my gosh I think we're still going straight because now we're like kind of going I think it like goes up and then straightens out and then goes up because now like you guys can see can you see the end of the tunnel can you see the light at the end of the tunnel oh my gosh And then I think I have like 20 minutes left of driving and then we'll be at the Wegmans and I can go take a piss, work on my laptop and eat some food. And then like, I don't know what those lights are, like the green and red lights, like, I guess it just means like, keep going, keep going. You're almost there. Oh my gosh, my car does so bad on like inclines. Like, can y'all hear it like farting? It's not very happy. Oh, light. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, it's such a beautiful day outside. Oh my God, where are we going? That is so beautiful. Okay guys, I'm gonna focus on the road. Bye. Hey chickadees. So we just got to the Mother Effin' Hotel. We just got to the Mother Effin' Hotel. So here it is. It's sorry. It's kind of like warm in here, but I like, turn the AC on. Like, there's the bed. Isn't this gross? Like, look. Like, ew, someone could unscrew that stuff and spit in it. The showers are getting creepy. Oh my god. Does this move? Like, how does this even work? How do you even, like, is it a door? Like, oh my god. Oh my god. There's no towels. Oh, right here. That's so weird. And then there's like this closet. Right? And then I guess that's like for like to go to the other side. It's like that's creepy. And then there's like a mini fridge. of drawers. Ew, they stink. I wonder if there's a Bible in here. Because, like, I thought all, oh, like, I bet you because it's Hilton, they're kind of woke. They don't have a Bible. Like, I thought most, yeah, they don't have a Bible. And, like, you're supposed to, like, check for, like, bed bugs. Like, I don't see any bed bugs. Like, like, what am I supposed to even look for? I don't even know. Like, little bugs. I don't see any. Ew, look. The sheets are stained. That's disgusting. Whatever. Whatever. American Horror 
Horror Story Hotel Part 2. Oh, 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 G. no, no, no. I press G. I press G for gay. It's just a habit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, this elevator's going so fast. Oh my god, I think we're okay. We outside, chickadees. We motherfucking outside. My baby's parked right over there. So, hear me out, chickadees. Hear me out. I used some of my points to get this hotel. So I only had to pay $30. That's right, I paid $30. But here's the catch. This hotel, it's a mile away from the beach. It's a mile away from the coast. So I'm too cheap to pay for, you know, lifts and Ubers. So I'm gonna walk my fine, cute, sexy little ass 20 minutes down the block and get me to the beach, okay? Now I just hope there's a sidewalk. <sighs> Wish me luck, chickadees. Wish me luck. All right, we are on the path. My leg is already hurting, chickadees. This was a bad idea. But I'm like kind of confused because like they make you help, like hold a parking pass in your car, right? Look at all this parking. Clearly, parking is not that much in demand. Okay, to be granted though, the. The convention center, the Virginia Beach Convention Center is like right up ahead. And there's like a police station, literally like right over there, like a block over. So that's like why like, I don't feel too scared to walk this like at night. Cause baby, I'm gonna be coming stumbling in a little tipsy. Cause I'm gonna try to go find me a drink. I'm gonna try to find me a drink. <sighs> so yeah, chickadees, I'm gonna keep this short because this is gonna be a long freaking video. Chickadees, this might have to be two parts. But all I know is I am so hype. I am so hype that I am off work and that I can finally go like spread my wings and explore because this has just been like a waiting game. Like I literally got in my car at 11.40, drove here, had to sit up at the Wegmans for two hours. My hotel room wasn't ready. So then I had to get here at four o'clock at check-in. And then they put me in a different room because they was like, oh, that room's not ready. Look how cute this is. Chickadee screenshot. Kitchen waves. Oh my gosh, chickadees. Let me flip the camera. Look, first of all, can we give some appreciation to the design, to the convention center? The design it is architecturally beautiful. All right, see, so it's not that far of a walk, chickadees. Like, I don't know. It says 20 minutes, but you know, like us gays, we be walking a little faster. Look at my shadow. You can see my shirt blowing in the wind. Oh my gosh, she has a wagon. See, that's a good idea. If I had kids, bitch, I'd be like, y'all get in the motherfucking wagon. I'ma haul y'all motherfucking asses down the street. Because the thing with the other um, hotels on the beach, right, is the parking costs $20. They charge you $15 to $20 a day to park at those hotels. Ooh, baby, this wind ain't playing. Hurricane Lee is said, hello, I'm here with winds. And I said, baby, I'm here with some fashion. I'm rolling with the LGBT on the Rainbow Road. Move out my way. I'm rolling with the LGBT. Okay, so I couldn't walk straight because they're doing the construction on this giant freaking site. So Lord knows what they're building. But how the heck am I supposed to get to the beach? Like you see where that eight sign is? That's literally the beach. And there's no more sidewalks. That was the, the only sidewalk. So how this hex 
am I just gonna have to, this is my sidewalk, I guess. Like, what the F? What the F? Google Maps did not prepare me for this. Baby, this is so ratchet. Because now I have to like take this huge ass detour just to get to the beach. And imagine me at night time trying to have to do this. What do I need? I need a hard hat, safety glass, hair protection, shirt sleeves, gloves, safety vest, long pants, safety toe boots. Safety toe boots. Baby, I ain't got safety toe boots on. I ain't got safety toe boots on. Look at this. Are they putting in a Walt Disney World, a Universal Studios, Realty Group? Girl, I don't even freaking know. All right, chickadees. Well, I'm almost there. We're going to figure something out. We just like, what, two blocks away? The church right there. If I got to stop and pray, I'll do that. that. Over and out. Shoot the first one. Dad's against daughter's dating. Look, chickadees, there's BFF shirt. That's my BFF. I'm gonna get this hat. Is this cunt? I love hot dads. Oh, I totally should get that. Literally, look at this place. This is giving pink pussy. Should I eat here? I don't know, this looks too bougie. I just had my food. I got um, two enchiladas and a margarita. And the man who like, I guess the owner, he was like so nice. He like was talking to me. And I sat at the bar, I sat at the bar. I'm like, I mean, Loki was kind of flirting with me. Loki was kind of flirting with me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, no cap. No cap, he was kind of flirting with me. But uh, he gave me a shot for free, for free. Then he kept questioning me like where I'm staying at. I'm like, baby boy. And then he had his little, his little friend or whatever. Oh my gosh, chickadees, I'm so drunk. I thought that like this pile of garbage was like a, a person. <laughs> chickadees, I'm just like, I'm not lost, but like, Chickadees, I need y'all, I need y'all for like emotional support to get home. This was a great idea. This was a great idea to like not have to worry about finding parking. But whereas backpedaling is now I have to walk all the way back home. And now I got some tequila in my system. And I'm like, damn, maybe I should have like gone to a club or something. Cause like, shit, I'm just gonna have to go back to the hotel and act all civilized, civilized and humane and shit. Bitch, the night is still young, but I got these bum ass motherfucking bags. I got these bum ass motherfucking bags. I guess I could go on grinder. Bitch, I don't wanna meet up with no stranger. See, this is why I didn't wanna come here by myself because I was like, it'd be so boring if I come here by my motherfucking self. That's why I wanted to come with someone else. <laughs> but ain't nobody wanna come with my ass. Well, I didn't ask anyone, but I'm pretty sure no one will wanna come. It's kind of last minute. Look at the coastline, it's so pretty. 
I missed the sunset, but I realized that like the sunset like sets on that side, but the sunrise is on that side. So we good, we good fam. Chickadees, we good, we good. Oh my God, chickadees, I think I might actually be lost. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. I'm lost. Chickadees, no. Because remember there was a giant eight? You remember the giant eight? Chickadees, no, and there's people that way. Oh, chickadees, I'm literally lost. I'm literally lost, chickadees. Oh my gosh, because there's no way that there's two construction sites. Oh my god, chickadees. This is just, this is just a catastrophe. I don't see anything. And nothing looks familiar. Oh my gosh, chickadees. That should be me. Why did that man get me so drunk? I said, let me not be a bitch and take this motherfucking shot. I think he wanted me to stay for a while. <laughs> he wanted me to stay for a while. They're going to be searching for me. They're going to be looking for me. Okay, I know where I'm. I'm not lost. I need to be on the other side of the road, though. I don't know why I got on this side of the road. Because I remember this first class estate. Because I walked by and I was like, first class and eating ass. Uh, ooh. Damn. Damn. We got chickadees. Let me let me get back to the hotel room in one piece. See, this is another reason why I chose this place. Besides that construction, otherwise this is a really nice walk because the entire walk is street lights and like a big ass motherfucking sidewalk. So you know you ain't gonna get hit by a motherfucking car or whatever. But yeah, y'all. Um, let me get my ass home. Let me get my ass home to the hotel to the hotel we go this is the pov pov of what i see this is what i see through my eyes so i have to cross the street hopefully no one tries to hit me oh my god okay i'm pretty sure this is a four-way stop section don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me yeah i'm looking at you yeah i'm looking at you Okay, and then I'm gonna come to like one of these like coffee places. There's like a bunch of coffee places around here. I'm gonna come to one in the morning. <sighs> Chickadees, I spent so much money today. It's not even funny. Like I think I spent like over like two hundred dollars. Like isn't that crazy? But like when in Rome, you know, got my bags or whatever. Got my bags or whatever. Look at that place. <sighs> Stupid. I want to go somewhere and get like chocolate chip cookies. OMG, look at that car. I know he's eating at that restaurant right now. Oh my gosh, chickadees, my leg hurts. I'm tired of walking. I shouldn't have worn these motherfucking shoes. Oh my God, there's a bicyclist. I'll be right back, chickadees. Oh my god, check these. <laughs> so, I overslept. And I'm too scared of street parking. So I'm literally running to the beach to try to see the sunrise. Am I gonna make it? Check these, am I gonna make it? Oh my god, my pants are falling. Check these. I made it. Oh my god. Oh Jesus.
all chickadees. I got my coffee and my breakfast sandwich. I think that's a wrap for the beach for me. It's a wrap for the beach for me. But I got, I don't even know what it was called, but it was like this egg and cheese on an English muffin. And it was so freaking good. Like it actually had flavor. It actually had flavor. Like there was salt and pepper on the eggs. It was so good. And the coffee is pretty good too. The place, if you guys are ever in the area, let me turn the cup. It's called Badass Coffee of Hawaii. Hawaii, if you're one of those they, them, rat pieces of shit who insist on saying Hawaii the proper way. Bitch, you're not a native Hawaiian, so why the fuck are you going around being like, it's Hawaii? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Anyways. So I'm almost at my hotel. My legs hurt because I literally was jogging. Like, don't don't tell me. Don't tell me I'm going to turn into a jogger. Because if I lived at the beach, oh, I would be jogging every morning. I would wake up at 6 in the morning and go for a jog. Because that is just so peaceful. And y'all saw from the clip, there was, like, the army people, like, training. And, like, they were so loud. I'm like, y'all, it's literally 7 in the morning. Like, why are you guys doing this right here, right now? Like, this is so unnecessary and, like, annoying. Like, what? But it was also kind of, like, cool and, like, haunting. It was, like, hauntingly beautiful because, like, I feel like you don't really hear and see, like, like, groups of people marching and, like, chanting like that. Unless if it's, like, a movie. Like, you only see stuff like that in movies. And, like, it was in, like, real life. So that was, like, kind of cool to see. It was, like, very inspirational because it's just, like, those people are all, like, they're all working for, like, one purpose, and that's, like, the government. That's, like, the military, the army, or the navy, the air force, whatever their branch was. It's all the same system at the end of the day. You working for the government. <laughs> you working for the big man. You selling your soul. That's, like, the only reason why I don't think I personally could do it, because I just don't feel like selling my soul to the um to the government like i'm sorry but i just don't oh we got a police officer if only he could be a g and give me a ride to my hotel room that would be nice but yeah y'all girl I, oh, if i just turn right here because there's like a lady walking right now because like i don't be like super creepy to be like what are you doing Oh my god, chickadees. So last night, I did meet up with someone off of Grinder, And I'm kind of glad it was him and, like, no one else. Because, like, it was really bad and really boring. Like, I think I gave him head for, like, maybe, like, three minutes. And then he, like, was over it. And I was like, I, I, like, I could just tell, like, that he was bored. And I was like, you're over it. I can tell. And he's like, yeah, I am. And so then he drove me back. And then he, on the way back, he was like, yeah, it's just because, like, I go for more masculine guys. And I'm like, it's totally cool. Like, I understand. Like, it's whatever. Um, he's from Turkey. Like, I'm sorry. This sounds so bad. But, like, I'm literally over, like, these immigrant dudes. Like, they are all the same. They are all the same. Like, I hooked up with probably, like, the third or fourth guy I've hooked up with who's, like, an immigrant. They are all the fucking same. Like... They're dumb as shit. They don't know how to fucking draw it. Well, they're not dumb. It's just because they're, like, translating to English. So I have to remind myself that. But, like, I don't know. I still feel like they're kind of dumb because they'd be kind of slow. Because even if they were speaking in their native tongue, I'm pretty sure they would be a little slow. <sighs> so, yeah. I think his name was Osam. Osam. <laughs> and then it hit me when I got out of the car. I was like, oh. Osama bin Laden. Osama, and I ain't talking Osama. And I ain't talking Osama bin Laden. That should be me driving right now. Osama, and I ain't talking Osama bin Laden. But 
that's a wrap with the 757. Had an amazing 25th birthday. Oh, but anyways, it was funny because he, he was like, everyone on Grinder was like, you went here by yourself? I'm like, why is this so shocking? Like, why do people get so shocked? And I even told my sister that too. And they were all like, everyone, all these people were shocked. They're like, why'd you go to the beach by yourself? Why'd you go alone? Why'd you go alone? And it's like, why not? Why do you have to do stuff with other people? Like I am in my like dating myself era, as tacky as like the whole era spiel is, but like it is what it is. Like as much as I would love to share this experience with someone else, I would much rather just fully enjoy the experience by myself. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm almost here. I think I'm gonna go to my room, grab the rest of my stuff, because baby, I already packed up and I have my stuff in the car. I'm gonna get my stuff out of my car and I'm gonna check out, hit that road and get my cute, sexy little fine ass home. Maybe I'll make a couple vids on the road. Okay, bye for now, chickadees. Eee.